and Katoko Sports welcomes you to our coverage of high school basketball. One of the Covington Buccaneers will take on the Detroit Christian Eagles. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Precision Strip, Winner's Meats, Grand Lake Health Systems, Cargill, and NK Telco. We're looking live here at the high for one game in the books. We should clinch their spot in the district semifinal. Who will join them? It'll either be Troy Christian or Covington. My name's Brandon Coverman alongside me, Craig Louth. And Craig, we first take a look at the Troy Christian Eagles. They are at 12 and 10 on the season, uh, winning three games in a row. Nobody averaging in double figures for the Troy Christian Eagles. They've played Covington twice already. They lost him on December 2nd, 70 to 47. And then also ended up playing them again uh, back in January 4th and lost by 30. So obviously Covington coming in as a huge favorite. Yeah, um, for Troy Christian, as you mentioned, 12 and 10, 5 and 9 in the Three Rivers. They're led by Brooklyn Levy, the senior. She comes in averaging 9 points and 9.7 rebounds. Then you have Covington, 18 and 5, 12 and 2 in the Three Rivers. They were second. They lost to Miami East twice. And the email back and forth with Coach Nave, he said that all five games they lost, they could have won them. So you could have been looking at a undefeated season there. But still, 18 and 5 ain't bad. Both teams are rather young. Each only have two seniors. Yeah, really, you are right on that. A, a young roster. As we take a look at our starting lineups. Wow. Here first, <laughs> for Covington. Number three, a 5'4 sophomore, Avery Kofer. Number 10, a 5'4 sophomore, Delaney Murphy. 5'9 senior, number 12, Gracie Anderson. For a six foot junior, number 14, Maggie Anderson. And rounding out the lineup, a senior in the middle, number 30, Carly B. Sacker. The coach of the Covington Bucks in his second season is Sean Knapp. And the home team on the scoreboard, the Troy Christian Eagles. Number 24, that is Kathleen Johnson. Number one, Brooklyn Levy. Number 20, Rain Wilkins. Sophomore number four, Briley Orange. And rounding out the line at number five, Karis Miller, the head coach of... Troy Christian is Valerie Inman. Let's take a look at our keys to the game brought to you by Keel Pizza in Newport, Ohio. First, taking a look for the Covington Bucks. First thing they want to do is they want to stay out of foul trouble. The second is they need to make Riley Orange, number four, shoot off the dribble, and they want to hold Troy Christian to only one shot. And taking and, a look to the next side. Yeah, for Troy Christian, they need to defend the threes because 37% of the shots by Covington are three-pointers. They need to limit their turnovers, and they need to win the rebound battle. Thanks to Keyhole Pizza for sponsoring those keys. And state off State Route 66 in Newport, Ohio. It's not Chunky Bob's Pizza. It's not pizza. A longtime sponsor of Keys for the Game. It's like Covington's in a 1-2-2 two, two or a 3-2 zone. They'll play that zone all game. They don't play any man. Played a zone defense all year for Coach Sean Knapp. They don't typically go too far to the bench either. They'll go about one too deep maybe. I think that's part of the reason why they've played zone is because they don't go very deep, but they do employ a trap like that on occasions. Shot off the mark there by uh, Beldor, or sorry, by Wilkins. Ball to the left side. Shot off the mark there by Riley Orange, but the rebound goes down to Gracie Anderson. Anderson stops to the left side over to Avery Kofer. Back to Delaney Murphy. Murphy to the left side to Maggie Anderson. Maggie Anderson in the lane. 
And Maggie Anderson, this junior, gets the scoring started. Comes in averaging 13.6 points a game. Winner of this game gets the Rushi Raiders Monday night here back at Sydney High School. Karis Miller goes back out to Rain Wilkins. On the inside, kicked out. And Troy Christian's going to throw it away. First turnover of the game. Coach Sean Knapp in his second season was the boys' freshman coach before that. All over to B. Secker on the left side. She's going to fire a three just like you talked about, Craig, and it's off the mark. Yeah, for the season, they've taken 372 three-point shots. Made 135. Yeah, very effective three-point shooting team. I've seen Covington play once already back in December, and they were a very good three-point shooting team. I mean, that's, that's a lot, but they still shoot 36% yeah. from three. And that shot, a deep two, is hit there by Brooklyn Levy, and we're knotted up at two. Coach Knapp just telling his ladies to clear it out, bring the ball up the floor, Delaney Murphy with it. Over to the left side, and Matt Anderson to the corner to Delaney Murphy. Let's just try to take that back and save Ray Kofer. To the side to Murphy. Murphy kicks it out. Back to Kofer to B. Secker. Drives on the inside. B. Secker to the rack. Scores for the Covington Bucks. Carly B. Secker cracks the box score in Covington, doubling up Troy Christian 4 2. The ball kicked. It's going to stay with Troy Christian. Ooh, almost stolen on the inbound. And they're going to play in that zone, but they don't play relaxed in that zone. Mm -mm. They, they trap, they move. Over to the right side. Here comes Troy Christian in the lane. And nice got a good block. look. Great block on the inside by Maggie Anderson. Kofer with it. Oh, Gets steel. it stolen away. It's Rain Wilkins. Wilkins up ahead. Her shot high off the glass and in. Rain Wilkins ties us up at four. Kofer brings the ball up the floor. Covington trying to get their 19th win of the season. Finished second place in that Three Rivers Conference, which includes Troy Christian and Maggie Anderson. Takes that ball right to the rack. High off glass. And Maggie Anderson, the one time I watched Covington play was against Rushi back in December. Maggie was in foul trouble most of that game, and then her sister Gracie swipes that basketball up ahead, dishes it off Delaney Murphy with the bucket. Good start for Covington so far, four for five from the field. Yeah, they shoot very well. Wilkins on the inside through that Ooh. zone. She was wide open. She just <laughs> yeah. turned around and shoot it. She's just looking to pass. and There's a shot, and that's not the shot Trey Christian was looking for. They're off the hands of Brooklyn Levy. Left side, B. Secker three, and she buries it from the right wing. Carly B. Secker with the three. She's got five. And they're actually only going to give her a two, two on her. Yep. yep. So take that back, but a long distance two, nonetheless. Wild shot thrown at the basket there by Riley Orange. Her shot's off the mark. Now they've changed it to a three. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, it's going to make me go back a couple times. Three-pointer from Gracie Anderson off the mark. We'll B. Secker up to five. Covington lead is 11-4 to four on that first National Bank Think First scoreboard.
Covington made it in the second round by defeating Franco Monroe here Saturday out of the Western Ohio Athletic Conference pretty soundly. A three ball from the corner. Off the mark, Biesecker comes down with that board. Covington took the bye. They were the three seed in this open draw. They were the three seed behind Tri-Village and Fort Laramie of the Western Ohio Athletic Conference and Shelby County Athletic. And Laramie got that one seed. Tri-Village the two. Laramie opted to take the lower bracket part of Sydney, which you can watch them here tomorrow night as the three-pointer in transition. No good by Karis Miller. Avery Kofer with it. Left side, Maggie Anderson. Back over to Gracie. Gracie shot in the lane, nice. up and in. Gracie Anderson with the bucket. Lead up to nine for Covington, and we have had precision strip timeout. We got a minute 15 to go in the first quarter. Covington 13, Troy Christian 4 here at NK Telco Sports. The hometown opportunity platform is exceptional. It is focused, laser focused on the careers in our four county region. 100% of the time we go to hometown opportunity. Uh, we've had great success from a handful of applications when we need them, as well as a recent one where we had 67 applicants. Honestly, it's a competitive advantage. The hometown experience has been everything I could have dreamed of and more. Back here on NK Tolco Sports, out the precision strip timeout. Covington, we talked about it in the pregame, Craig, and Covington, a hot shooting team, and man, they yeah. can really stroke it. And that's been a huge part of their nine point lead here early in the first quarter. Yeah, overall, they shoot almost 43% from the field. They've started out hot here in the first quarter. They're six of eight so far. Covington's going to stay in that zone. Like I said, they don't play any man-to-man. -man. You haven't seen any substitutions on either side either, mm. I don't think so far. Um, actually, one, number 11, Sadie Jones in for Troy Christian. But we've seen minimal subbing pretty much across the board here. Try to run that baseline to Troy Christian. Passing around, Karis Miller up top there to Rain Wilkins. Looks it back around. Covington around. very active. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Turn around. Out there, and that ball stolen. Up ahead, it's Delaney Murphy. So Murphy's got to pick her up. Yep. Murphy stops and shoots. And if you don't pick her up, stuff yeah. like that happens. Delaney Murphy with that bucket. She's got four, and Covington's lead is up to 11. They're just playing off of them. Yeah, let, let them shoot it. Three-pointer off the mark. Rebound on the weak side, no good. And Covington ends the quarter on an 11-0 run. We were tied at four, but now the Bucks lead by double figures, 15-4. We'll step aside. Here, come back here next on NK Tokyo Sports. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for CarriageWorks. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. We played one quarter here of basketball here in girls' sectional final action at the Hive at Sydney High School. And Covington in control early, Craig, with some hot shooting up ahead 15-4 to on Troy Christian. They're 6-6 six of six from two-point land, one of three from beyond the arc. So they've started out hot, while on the other hand, Troy Christian's 2-12 of 12 for 17%. And, you know, they started out as 4-4 four four at one point. Shot no good by Biesecker on the inside. Christian up ahead, Rain Wilkins with it. And she'll work back towards that Sydney logo. In that 3-2 zone by Covington. 
Pretty traditional here for them this year. They have not made a substitution yet. No, they have not. You won't see that unless they get in foul trouble, probably. Which is the one time when I, like I told you, when I saw him play Rushi back in December, Maggie Anderson was in foul trouble a lot of that game. And they had to play other girls like Gabby Hartwig, and, for example. And other than that, they don't get very far into that bench. That zone defense. Left side. Turn back around. They go to the corner. They're trapping that wing. Ball taken away by Maggie and Gracie Anderson. That combo. Four turnovers now on the Eagles. Nice move on the inside. Not enough there. Offensive rebound goes down to Avery Kofer, who cracks the box score. Her first two points of the game. Now the first points of the second quarter. 17 to 4 our score. Suffocating defense by the Bucks. And they're really trapping that wing. Yeah. Like I said, it's it's not just a zone that they sit back in. It's a zone they're going to be active in. An offensive board and a nice hard move to the rack by Brooklyn Levy. Now, that's what I think makes Covington so effective is in that zone you have an area you cover. Yeah. You don't have a man you cover like yep. a man-to-man. -man. You have a, a zone you cover. Yes. And it's so much easier to you know be physically fit in the fourth quarter that way, as Anderson will go to the line, instead of playing man-to-man, -man, you're not chasing someone around for a whole game, and you're less likely to stay out of foul trouble. I'm not saying it's not, it couldn't happen, but you're less likely to. You don't have to, I don't want to say either work as hard, but you know it's a lot easier on your body as a, as a teenager and as an athlete if you're, only, if you're playing zone compared to man-to-man. -to -man. Yep. Maggie Anderson at the line, and I'll mention something after she shoots the free throw. Um, She's ninety percent free through. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say, I wanted to, wanted to wait Sorry, to say I something. Burst your bubble. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh, but she had, she broke the school record for most consecutive made free throws earlier in the season, um, as she split, splits the ends there. Uh, we have a jump ball on the inside. It's gonna go Troy, way to Troy Christian. Yeah, coming into the game, 74 of 82 Wow, from the line. Yeah, she was over, I believe, about 27 made free throws at one point. And she set wow. the Covington school record uh, for made consecutive free throws. Now Covington kind of in a 1-2-2 two, two full court press. Yeah, no problem for the Eagles. Maybe we'll see that look for a possession or so. Inside, and Kiesecker fouls. And going to the line will be number 15, Annalise Erdahl. First foul on Covington, and the foul that was on Erdahl down here on the other one was a fir their first one. And that's the risk, you know. I probably won't see Covington in that trap very often because sometimes if you get beat too, you have to come back and recover. Sometimes that leads to fouls and things like that. Yep. You know, obviously no trouble for as of now for Covington on foul trouble or anything as Erdahl will score. Got it. Really, Erdahl cracks the box score. Ball goes up ahead. Kofer oh. over to B Secker. Keeps it alive, but it'll be a turnover. A live ball turnover as Rain Wilkins stops in the lane. Teardrop well short. Missed opportunities on both sides there. That's what I've noticed about Rain Wilkins. All of her shots are running. Yeah. There are no set shots. There, She's always in motion when she shoots. Maggie Anderson with the basketball to Gracie Anderson. Goes on the inside, Delaney Murphy. Her shot with the left hand dances <laughs> around, and, and she just has one big smile on her face after that shot. But he used the back of that rim. Delaney Murphy up to six. It's going to give her game-high honors as of now. 
Wilkins to the right side. Is it in the corner? Back over. And it's going to be taken away there. Coach Sean Napkin shouting out the instructions for his team. Kofer wide open, thought about a three. Got away with a potential double dribble. In the corner, Anderson, quick trigger. High arcing three is off the mark. Levy up to the left side, up to Rain Wilkins under half, halfway through halfway in the second quarter. Sectional final action, Brandon Cooperman, Craig Lau giving you the action here. And there's a steal, Ooh, nice play. Yeah. Gracie Anderson with the heads up play gets the turnover. Six turnovers now on Troy Christian. Covington with four. Again, Covington yet to make a substitution. Kicked out to Gracie Anderson. Back in the corner to Kofer. Kofer drives baseline. Nice. Finds oh. Biesecker. And she goes through a wave of arms. And Carly Biesecker will head to the strike for two. Karis Miller, that's her first, team second. Biesecker's 61.5% free throw shooter. And we're going to see our first Covington sub of the game. And that's going to be number 11, Gabby Hartwig. Gabby, a 5'11 junior. We'll sub in for Avery Kofer. Biesecker, no stranger to the free throw line. She was been there 96 times this season. Wow. Ball to Wilkins, 3.16 to go in the quarter. Well, tipped. Covington, or Troy Christian can go get that basketball. And kind of a silent offensive quarter. Coming yeah, to the Levy muster five points. Troy Christian three. Levy with it. High arcing jumper off the mark. Wilkins gets the basketball. Works around. Three pointer. Up and out. Rebound down to Carly B. Secker. Anderson back to Delaney Murphy. Right side cutting. Maggie Anderson and Rain Wilkins with the steal. Wilkins shots no good. Blocked oh, nice by Hartwig. Block. Gabby Hartwig with a nice block. Murphy nice high shot. Arcing shot. An 18 footer high at the left hand. The southpaw drains. The 18-footer and a 15-point lead for Covington. Eight points now for the Southmore. Murphy kind of played up and down last year when Covington had a JV team. That ball's poked away by Anderson. Biesecker sees Maggie Anderson up ahead. She got the steal. She wanted to score with it, too. Yep. And the Covington lead up to 17. We have a precision strip timeout by Troy Christian. All timeouts, again, brought to you by that sponsor, Precision Strip. Uh, here again, and we'd like to thank our uh, spon our sponsors here um, here tonight because without them we would have uh, not been able to bring you this broadcast. They are Carriage Works, Chiltex LLC, Sy Schwederman, Dickman Supply, Elmwood Assisted Care, Hometown Opportunity, Hulsman Automotive, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, uh, Minster Bank, Lincoln Electric, New Knoxville Supply, SecureCon, Bud's Chrysler Dodge Jeep, Crown Equipment, Shelby County Veteran Services, the St. Henry Bank and WCSM Radio. Scoreboard sponsors, the First National Bank, Keys of the Game, Keel Pizza, all timeouts brought to you by Precision Strip. The player of the game, which Craig and I will bring you at the end of the game, is brought to you by NK Tolko. And our mid and post game stats are brought to you by Granite Health Systems. And our live view sponsors, Cargill. NK Tolko Sports and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of tonight's high school varsity basketball action on NK Tolko Cable or the NKT.TV app. And on channel 3 or on HD on 503. March 19th at 2 p.m. and on March 20th at 2 p.m. And you can also watch games live via pay-per-view through nktelco.com forward slash sports and more games on demand through YouTube, Facebook, and nktelco.com forward slash sports. And coming out of the precision strip timeout, 
We said it was kind of a lackluster offensive quarter there, but two quick buckets by Covington to put the lead up to 17 here. Covington now has her three tallest girls in there. Hartwig, B. Secker, and Anderson. We got a three-second second. violation, yep. You don't see that called very often anymore. No, even though it seems to be pretty obviously violated by about every team. Because <laughs> yeah, they know they're not going to call it. Exactly. Yep. And Delaney Murphy having a heck of a half. Ten points for Delaney. 26-7, to seven, Covington bolting out ahead here of their three Rivers Conference rival, Troy Christian. Quarters getting trapped there by oh. Covington. And there's a turnover. It's a dead ball turnover for Troy Christian. Coming into the lineup, back in is Sadie Jones. A sophomore. B. Secker gives it up to Delaney Murphy. It's been the start of the show for the Covington offense in the first half, and Hartwig picks it up, gives it to B. Secker. And fire a quick trigger. Three in and out. Weak side rebound by Anderson. Her shot out, and Covington will have a jump ball. Yeah, golden opportunity missed there by the Bucks. Yeah. As Gracie Anderson will inbound. B. Secker to the right side, Anderson back to Murphy, back to Gracie Anderson. Is it back to Hartwig who kicks it out? Murphy. Murphy going to take oh, the jump shot. One. Well, short. That's really her first bad shot of the game. Yeah. Kick it out. Troy Christian needs one to fall, and I think they heard me. Yep. Karis Miller with that three. So fifth one on the season. She cracks the box score, and it's 26-10. Covington ahead of Troy Christian. B. Secker with it. Comes up to the top of the key. Goes a little left side in Hartwig. Hartwig to Gracie Anderson, who cuts through the lane. And she's fouled. and go to the line for two. Two shots coming up for Gracie Anderson. Third all second. She's a 70% free throw shooter. In and out. I'm kind of cursing the Anderson sisters here. Yes, I am. <laughs> I better shut up. <laughs> Three at the horn. Good if it goes. It does not. And Covington will take a 27-10 lead into the halftime break. We'll step aside, tally up our first half stats and totals, and bring you the second half of action here next on NK Telco Sports. First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. We've played one half of basketball here at the Hive, and it's a commanding 27-10 lead for the Covington Buccaneers. Let's take a look at our first half numbers brought to you by Grand Lake Health Systems. And with those numbers, Craig Lau. All right. For Coach Inman's Troy Christian Eagles, they were led in scoring by Brooklyn Levy. They had four. 
Karis Miller had three. Annalise Erdahl had one, and Rain Wilkins had two for their ten. They shot overall four of 22 from the floor for 18%. Three of 16 from two, one of six from three, and they were one of two from the free throw line. Covington was led by Delaney Murphy, who had ten. May- Maggie Anderson had seven. Carly Biesecker had five. Gracie Anderson had three. And Avery Kofer had two for their 27. Overall, they shot 12 of 24 from the floor for 50%. They were 11 of 19 from two point, one of five from three, and they were two of six from the free throw line for 33%. Rebound wise, Covington had 13. Troy Christian had 12. And on the turnovers, Troy Qu- Christian had nine, and Covington had five. So 27 to 10, halftime score. And all those numbers brought to you by our sponsor at Grand Lake Health System, sponsoring our stats all year in tournament basketball. Signaling, obviously, the, about the end of our season here for basketball on NK Toko. And happy to bring you this. Not to NK Toko schools here that are presently playing, but here at Sydney High School uh, due uh, to us covering Sydney stuff all year. And I'm glad to see some unique, different yep. teams that we don't usually cover. And the shot, two shots up on the inside, no good there by Johnson, and that's a jump ball, and it's going to be Covington basketball. As you mentioned, it is good to see different teams play, and both these teams out the Three Rivers Conference. Uh, that's the conference in its third season. Other schools in that conference include Miami East, Milton Union, Northridge, Lehman Catholic is in that uh, as well, Riverside. So some schools around here like Riverside and Lehman Catholic as Delaney Murphy continues her tear for the first half. She's got a dozen. She missed two shots in the first half. She was 5 of 7, now 6 of 8 overall. Yeah, but North Northridge, Lehman Catholic. So you go down to school at Northridge. It's just literally north of Dayton. As the high arcing three is off the mark. And a long rebound down to Troy Christian, but Northridge down about as far as Dayton. Riverside just on the other side of Sydney here in DeGraff. So that's a pretty long, far ranging conference as well, just kind of like we talked about with the Western Ohio Athletic Conference. As Murphy gets the steal. And of course, you mentioned Miami East, 22 and 0. Yeah. Number one in the state. Anderson with a beautiful Euro step. Couldn't get it to fall. Kofer there from behind. Can't finish. But they're, uh, you know, certainly it's a Rivers Conference. Covington finished second in that conference behind Miami East. Just losing to them twice. It's a double round robin, so they play a similar format to the Shelby County Athletic League and the Miami Valley League in that aspect. They play 14 conference games, though, yeah. which is very... Which is, is a lot. You know, Shelby County only gets 12, so they get 10 non-conference games, but it kind of limits you when you're in Covington. You go down and you play 14 conference games. You only have to find eight non-conference games. you still got schools in your backyard. you got schools like Piqua. you got Bradford and Rushi in your backyard. Schools like that. That's Raiden Wilkins with the steal. Wilkins up ahead, high nice. off the glass and scores. But it leaves you kind of with a little bit of some scheduling limitation a little bit. Yeah, it does. And coming to the past few years has hosted their own holiday tournament, so they've scheduled two games through that. So I guess scheduling's maybe not difficult, but you're limited in maybe wanting to play as many non-conference posts depending on, you know, some years some schools know they're going to be good, so they amp their non-conference schedule up. You know, Covington, for example, picked up Rushi this year. That's kind of a team they played a little on and off depending on the year. They picked up them knowing they're going to be a good team this year. Uh, uh, Rushi is, and Covington picked them up knowing them that they have a very talented roster this year. And you hear a lot of coaches doing that, picking up tougher competition, really gets them ready for tournament run. And it, it, who knows? They may see that team in the tournament. Exactly. And with the RPI now and everything, too, yes, and that being a big thing, yeah. you get some of these wins, you know, it, it's going to boost your it's gonna boost your RPI rating as Maggie Anderson will go back to that free throw line. And it boosts your RPI rating. Like, for example, Troy Christian Boys beating OG, despite them only losing twice and losing by 25 to Rushi, who got the one seed, <laughs> almost hopped Rushi. I mean, that gave them, them beating OG, 
gave them that many points that they almost hopped a team that they lost to by 25. Yeah. So, which I think you would have heard a lot of complaining at the anti-RPI crowd. But, right, right. And they might have been rightful, rightful in that situation, but, but that just shows you the impact that beating certain teams can give you. Yeah, with beating OG with Colin White, who signed with Ohio State, that's a big victory for Troy Christian. Yeah, their boys are rated second, and they're in the Troy sectional, so they don't have to go too far for their their sectional. They'll face either Ian Sonia or Bradford in their first round, depending who wins that game Friday. Actually, that's at Piqua High School. I take that back. Uh, we're going to the Piqua sectional. So are all the Shelby County Athletic League teams in the uh, Piqua sectional? Uh, th they're split between Piqua and Troy, Troy because okay. of the opening. And then Anna's Division Three, but a yep. nice move by Rain Wilkins on the inside. And they're split between Piqua and Troy. And then actually Anna was playing National Trail tonight down in Northmont. It's Kofer with the three. Avery Kofer buries the triple from the top of the key. That's her 31st three of the year. She's a 41% three-point shooter. Wow. And an electric shooting from this Buccaneer team. They lead by 20, nearly halfway through the third quarter. Wilkins on the top of the key on the inside. Went up and scoring is number 24, Kathleen Johnson. First points of the game. That was a nice left-handed shot. Yeah, exactly. Move. Covington, the last time they made a really a, a real deep tournament run. Um, they've made the district semifinals multiple times. They made the district semifinals in 21-22 as there's a jump ball. And that's going to be a turnover. But last time they've made the district semifinals, they lost the last two times to Bradford in 2021 and 2022. Last time they made it to the district finals was in 2019 when they had a player by the name of Sammy Whiteman, who's one of the best players in Covington School history. They made it to the regional semis last year, lost a tight one to Fort Laramie. Uh, but this team looking to have a potential sight set on that as well. But this, really, this region, you want to say it, it's, I don't want to say it's Fort Laramie and everyone else, but Fort Laramie's the prohibitable favorite. B. Secker's shot blocked on the inside. Anderson goes up, her shot's no good. And a foul on Anderson will go the way of Troy Christian. And you got, you got Fort Laramie's the prohibitable favorite. Tri-Village, pretty solid team. They yeah. were undefeated throughout the, the WOAC schedule. The defending state champions is, we got a timeout. We'll talk more about this when we come back out for the break. All timeouts brought to you by Precision Strip. 3.13 to go in the third quarter. Covington 34 and Troy Christian 16. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Timmy Trumpet welcoming us back in after this timeout. That's Edwin Diaz's theme song coming in, the closer for the New York Mets. It makes me ready for baseball season as it's warming oh, up yeah. here. As we're getting closer and closer. First week of practice this week for softball and baseball started yesterday, but tournament basketball time right now. And 34 to 16, Covington holds the edge over Troy Christian here. Bucks trying to pull away here, Craig. Yeah, they are. So far, They've been led by Delaney Murphy. She's got 12 points now. Um, Troy Christian, though they've scored six points this quarter, they're still looking at an 18-point deficit. They just pretty much dug themselves too big a hole to climb out of unless they can start hitting some shots here. Trying to run that baseline out that zone. Get a good look at the rim. Shot in and out. Troy Christian goes up again. That's a... And that's a good look. I yeah. Mean, you see teams do that all the time. They run that baseline out that zone. Uh, I know when I played basketball, we ran a lot of similar of those zone sets. You try to run that person across the, the baseline just to get them open. 
ball stolen on the inside, taken away by Brooklyn Levy. Levy up ahead, trying to weave through the defense. Ooh, they missed. <laughs> Miller there in the corner. Mm -hmm. There she is. And just continuously running her baseline to that ball side. See her move again yep. there on the bottom of your screen. Up, Levy, foul line extended. It's going to get a nice uh, assist from the backboard. She's got six points now. Lead to 16. It's a one point edge for Troy Christian scoring wise this quarter. So coming to now, kind of the last luck, lackluster second quarter scoring until the end of there. There she <laughs> is. Delaney Murphy. Yes, there goes that girl again. This team's led primarily by the Anderson sisters in the scoring column and Carly B. Secker, but the underclassman, Delaney Murphy, has 14. Maybe with another deep range, too. Clanks off the iron. And Avery Kofer gets the rebound, and she's off and running. Kofer left side. Kofer kicks out Delaney Murphy. High off the glass and in. <laughs> That's her world, wow. and we're just living in it. She averages eight points a game. She's doubled that. She's got 16 now. 20-point lead back up for the Bucks, And I just said their offense was getting a little cold this quarter. And I think Delaney and Murphy heard me through yep. the headset. I said, I'll, I'll show you what, what offense is. And going to the line now will be Kathleen Johnson. Fouls on Gracie Anderson, her first. And it's all her displeasure with that. And what the heck on me? No way. And coming into the lineup for Troy Christian, number 22, Grace Munson, a freshman. Lane Johnson dips knees, fires high arc, and free throw is good. She's got three points now. In the lead, Covington 38, Troy Christian 19. B. Secker with the basketball, left side to Gracie Anderson. Anderson gets a screen from her sister Maggie. To the left side to Delaney Murphy. Ball tipped, and it's going to stay with Troy Christian. Troy Christian now trying to increase the defensive pressure here a little bit. Murphy trying to drive on the inside, spins, kicks to the left side, and Avery Kofer. Kofer back to Gracie Anderson. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. 19 point lead for Covington. I haven't seen them shoot the three ball as much. No, they haven't. Lately. Anderson on the inside trying to attract contact. Shot no good. Up ahead, Miller trying to split through the defense, gives it to Levy. Levy will back it out. Tries to get something before the end of the quarter there. The ball in the corner. Levy trying to get out of it. Tries to kick on the inside, taken away by who else but Delaney Murphy. Murphy racing down the sideline. Murphy up ahead, stops, pops, fires it, <laughs> she swished it. <laughs> At the wow. horn, Delaney Murphy, what 19 a quarter. points. And we head to the fourth quarter of action here next on NK Telco Sports. Kogi Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. Welcome back to the fourth quarter of action here in the sectional finals. The Covington Bucks lead the Troy Christian Eagles 41-19. And as soon as you saw Delaney Murphy steal that ball, <laughs> I was telling you off air, I just had a feeling that she was going to shoot and she was going to score. And she just chucked it up yep. and swished it at the horn. 19 points for Delaney Murphy. Totals the, all of the Troy Christian offense here. And 
What a night for Delaney. Yeah. She's, uh, <laughs> nine, like as you said, nine points there in the third quarter. She's only missed two shots all night. So she's having a whale of a game. Shot off the mark, and Covington one more quarter away, and Brooklyn Levy with the basket, but uh, one quarter away from clinching a district semifinal matchup with the Rushi Raiders. Uh, a little, I don't want to call it a backyard rival, but very close to each other. They do border, Covington and Rushi. And, uh, but we'll get a rematch with them who they beat in December at the Claire Cinevo Gymnasium. It's B-Secker on the inside. Her shot's no good, but she'll go to the line. Kathleen Johnson, that's her second. Don't get to say this too often, but we, Covington's not one of our schools, and I don't try to ever represent any announcer bias, but you know, as a teacher, you're going to see some of the, these kids in industry. When I was in college, I actually got the pleasure to teach Carly B. Secker and Gracie Anderson. Really? Both great kids, uh, great people uh, at Covington School. I know Covington's not one of our NK Telco schools, so I can say that, but great kids uh, over there. Uh, Covington, a great, great school system uh, with a lot of great people and a great town and community. As the three-pointer is buried from the right wing there by Grace Munson. She's 100% on the season, 2-2. Two two. Hey, there you go. Don't know when it's going to happen, but be aware when it yep. does. B Secker, we see her attack downhill, and she'll go back to the line. Johnson picks up two quick fouls there. Now she's got three total. Shot no good there by B Secker. B Secker now two of five from the line in the game. 61.5% free throw shooter. Second free throw is good. She's got eight points now. Lead pushed out to 20. Is six and a half to go here in the fourth quarter. And we got, thank you guys for joining us on NK Telco Sports, the Real Workers Conference battle here. Oh. Almost lost it. Oh, gets deflected around, nearly ripped away. Munson takes it, and she's fouled, and we're going to strike for two. And I have to take a look at, you know, we talk about in the last game with Rushi Newton, the, the seven divisions. Don't know how that's necessarily going to affect it. I really didn't look up how this is going to affect Covington. I would assume Covington would be a D6 school. Um, they've been D3 in some guys' sports the past few years, so I, I would think a D6 would probably fit them coming up in the new seven divisions. Uh, in the next year, so I would assume they'd be probably D6, uh, maybe even D5, but I would kind of stray on the side of D6 if I had to guess. And we got a 30-second timeout. We'll talk more about that here after this Precision Strip timeout here next on NK Toko Sports. Are you looking for a rewarding career? Lincoln Electric Automation in Coldwater and Fort Loramie supplies top-of-the-line automation systems to manufacturers. Lincoln Electric Automation routinely develops its team through hiring and by offering advanced technical training. We understand that every employee matters and every role contributes to the success of our business. We offer advancement opportunities, competitive wages, and benefit packages. Visit LincolnElectric.com and get on track to a better career and a better future. Coming out the Precision Strip timeout, 44 to 25, Covington ahead of Troy Christian with 6.06 to go here in the fourth quarter. And like you said the Bucks looking like they're going to take this game. We were talking before the break uh, about how Covington probably a D6. I would say Troy Christian would be D6 too as Maggie Anderson gets the bucket. Uh, but I would say Troy Christian might be D6, D7. They might flutter back and forth. Troy Christian generally a D4 school and everything. I don't think I've ever seen them D3 in anything. But well, on the inside, and Grace Munson. Got five, up. Six points this quarter. Yeah. Freshman's starting to heat up here. Secker thought about a three, sees Anderson cut and gets it back to Delaney Murphy. Murphy steps through the defense, and Delaney Murphy, cash money again for the field. 21 now. 
Uh, 21 points, like you said, for the sophomore. A magnificent performance for Delaney. To look if that's a season high for her. As they tie up on the inside. And substitution back in, number 20, Rain Wilkins. Works it in over to Rain Wilkins. Wilkins trying to try baseline. Trapped from behind by B. Secker will stay with the Covington Bucks. Murphy oh, sorry, shoot. Troy Christian, my bad. Murphy shoots 43.5% from the field tonight, 10 to 12. We got a precision strip timeout. We'll take it with them here on NK Toko Sports. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory, so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. Back here at NK Toko Sports South Precision Trip timeout. 4.46 to go here in the game. And Covington 48, Troy Christian 27. And you see the uh, Munson fires up the three. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Talk about hot shooting. Wow. Grace Munson, who hadn't played all game, now up to nine points in the fourth quarter alone. Three of three on the season from three. Three point land. Like I said, if she's going to shoot, get out the way. Yeah. And speaking of hot shooting, Delaney Murphy up to 21 points. Her season high after that was 14 against New Bremen. Actually, take that back, 19 against Lehman Catholic. So she surpassed her season high. She must like when NK, she's playing against an NK Toko school <laughs> or, or she's playing Troy Christian. And she <laughs> makes another one. Munson. They're saying, stop talking about Delaney Murphy. Talk about <laughs> yeah. me. She hits another one. 12 points here in fourth <laughs> quarter. Oh, my. I've seen a lot of things, but I haven't seen a freshman that hasn't played all game in a varsity game. Steps off and gets 12 points in the fourth quarter. This is unbelievable. They still trail by 15. Yeah. Putting a little excitement into it. But Delaney Murphy... Both times she played Troy Christian, scored in double figures with 11 and 13 points. So a season high for Delaney Murphy. Anderson on the inside. Her shot is up and in. You know, all this heroics of Grace Munson is going to be too little too yeah. late. And I said, where was this in the first half? You know, if she would have been in, but. They're just going to let her go again. Nope, they're going to put a little tighter pressure as Anderson will get tangled up on the inside. And possession arrow goes to Covington. So that's a Tr Troy Christian turnover. A full court press. And they're just going to lob it to Anderson, let her track it down. And Anderson Still off balance, it. off the glass through the contact. She's up to 15 points now. Covington, man to man. She walked. Yep. Urgency going to ramp up here from the Eagles. Get the ball up to Avery Kofer. Kofer spins on the inside through the legs. Quick as a whistle through the lane there. Back up to Carly B. Secker. Comes in on a forward, obviously, to be patient here, and probably will see them be patient. 
despite the very polished shooting that they have from the field. Murphy just wanting to <laughs> add to her fantastic night to her season high, 23 <laughs> points. 23 for Delaney. Her and Munson, 200 class, would have been the start of the show here tonight. Lady shot off the mark. The seniors for each team, the seniors for Troy Christian, Kathleen Johnson, Brooklyn Levy. Uh, those are the two seniors for uh, Troy Christian. And on the other side for Cuppington, there's two seniors as well. That's Gracie Anderson and Carly Biesecker. As Brooklyn Levy will check out for the final time, and so will Kathleen Johnson. Uh, that's the hardest part about tournament, especially yep. when, when we do NK Taco schools. You get to know these teams throughout the year. Some of them have multiple seasons. And to see them be done, it's a little uh, tough sometimes to see them be done. As Wilkins with it. Wilkins trying to work on the inside against B-Secker. And there's a reach on Anderson. That's only the fifth foul total on Covington this game. And, and that's, I think, that benefit to play in that zone. zone. Yep, you got it. Because you're going to foul less typically as Coach Naff going to start bringing in some substitutions. He'll bring in Hannah Alexander and Gabby Hartwig. And also bring in number 34, Emily Johnson, and number four, Stevie Newhouse. And also bring in number 20, Bella Batdorf. drive on the inside. I want to see Munson get another shot. Yeah. I got to see it before she leaves. Unless she wants to keep her, her percentage intact. As Rain Wilkins will come out. Just a sophomore, but with six points tonight. Ball in the corner. Three-pointer off the mark. Newhouse will come down with the rebound. I mean... <laughs> It's a good start for next season. Yeah, exactly. Can't beat that. Shot on the inside, no good. Shot no good on the inside. New house with the board. Take a timeout just to get a sub in. And yeah, that's uh, going to be Kylie Palsgrove. We'll see Hartwig out. You kind of see coaches do that a lot this year. That yeah. seems to be a trend like this year and last year. That coaches are taking timeouts just for subs at the end if they have them left, um, which is a good idea. So the Covington did not have a JV team this year. Um, so hopefully those numbers can get back up to the point where they can have one next year. And that's a disturbing trend. Yeah. I know New Knoxville is the same way. And there was a couple other schools I heard that did not have. Yeah, well, Houston did it. I know Fairlawn isn't. They haven't had one for years. Um, that's yeah. It's kind of been a little bit of a trend. As Newhouse on the inside, nice move by Stevie Newhouse. Again, Covington. They only played five, six girls tonight. You know, you're only gonna have to replace two, but the clock is froze at 21.5 seconds. I'll have to get a determination from the officials when it's good. And they'll freeze it at 18 seconds. It's not really going to matter, but no. the officials have to make a determination of how much time went off the clock. <laughs> I think someone joked more minutes because Trick Christian has run out of time. It's a 56-33 lead here for Covington. They're going to advance to face Rushi on Monday night here at 6 o'clock at the Hive. Ball fake on the inside. Kick it around and wants to get Munson. Yeah, I would love to get it to Munson just one more time. But yep. they're just going to hold it yep. and dribble it out. And the Covington Bucks will sweep the season series over the Detroit Christian Eagles. They win by the final of 56 to 33. You caught it here live on NK Tolko Sports. As Craig tallies up the total, we'd like to thank our sponsors here tonight on NK Tolko because without them, we would not be able to bring you 
girls high school basketball here on NK Telco Sports. Our sponsors are Carriage Works, Chiltex LLC, Cy Sweeterman, Dickman Supply, Elmwood Assisted Care, Hometown Opportunity, Hulesman Automotive, Cookie Plumbing and Heating, Lincoln Electric, The Minster Bank, New Knoxville Supply, Securecom, Bud's Chrysler Dodge Jeep, Crown Equipment, Shelby County Veteran Services, St. Henry Bank, um, and WCSM Radio, Knoxville Supply, Securecom, and Bud's Chrysler Dodge Jeep. I think I failed to mention those guys as well. Our school board sponsors, the First National Bank, Keys of the Game, Keel Pizza. All timeouts are brought to you by Precision Strip. Our player of the game is brought to you by NK Toke. Our minute post game stats are powered by Grand Lake Health Systems. And our live view sponsor here at Sydney, as you can see on your screen, is brought to you by Cargill. NK Toko Sports and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of tonight's high school varsity basketball action on NK Toko Cable or the NKT.TV app on Channel 3 or in high definition on 503, March 19th at 2 p.m. and March 20th at 2 p.m. You can also watch more games live via pay per view through NKToko.com and more games on demand through YouTube, Facebook, and NKToko.com forward slash sports. Let's take a look as Craig continues to tally the uh, numbers, our box score here tonight. First taking a look for Troy Christian, they had three points from Kathleen Johnson, Brooklyn Levy with eight, Rain Wilkins with six, three for Karis Miller, one for Annalise Eerdahl, and for our late blooming star, uh, Grace <laughs> Munson, she had a dozen. And for those of you that missed the broadcast or just joining now, this freshman did not play the first three quarters. Comes in the fourth quarter, hit one three all season, shot one three. Then hits three threes and hits a bucket on the inside. Splits one and free throw. And this up with 12 points. Unbelievable. Yeah, that was, it's one of the yeah. most interesting things I've seen. But Covington on the other side, they were led uh, in scoring by Delaney Murphy with 23. Avery Kofer had five, two from Stevie Newhouse, three from Gracie Anderson, Maggie Anderson with Maggie Anderson, 9, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 for Maggie Anderson. And Carly B. Secker ends up with 8. Uh, Covington on the season will advance to 19-5. and five. They'll return. They are sectional champions. They will return to the Hive Monday night and take on the Rushi Raiders in a rematch of a game that they won earlier in December by a final of 44-37. to 37. So they will take on the Raiders. That's a game you can catch here live on NK Telco Sports. Tip time is 6 p.m. We'll be covering that. So if you're a Covington fan or just a basketball fan in general, you want to buy that game, you can purchase that and watch it here live on NK Toko Sports. And Troy Christian will finish their season at an even 500 record of 12 and 12. With our post-game numbers here, Mr. Craig Louth has brought to you by Grand Lake Health Systems. All right. First for the Troy Christian Eagles. From the field, they were 13 of 45 overall for 29%. 9 of 32 from two-point land. 4 of 13 from beyond the arc. And as Brandon said, three of those came from Grace Munson there in the fourth quarter. From the free throw line, there were 3 of 6 for 50%. Looking at shooting for the Covington Bucks, overall there were 23 of 49 for 47%. There were 20 of 39 from 2 and 3 of 10 from beyond the arc. 7 of 12 from the free throw line. Looking at rebounds, Troy Christian had 23 rebounds, 13 defensive, 10 offensive. Covington had 22, 14 from the defense, 8 from the offense. And looking at the turnovers, Troy Christian had 16 and Covington had 10. 56-33 final score. And before we leave, I'd like to name our player of the game brought to you by NK Telco and that honor is going to go to? Who do you think? <laughs> I'm going to guess Delaney Murphy. <laughs> yes, you got that right. Uh, the five foot four sophomore missed two shots all night. Let me tell him up right here real quick. Eleven of thirteen. Wow, from the field. <laughs> and the two and the two misses were two pointers. So she had one three pointer. So she had a total of 23 points. Wow. Yeah. I I mean, that's, yeah. 5'4 sophomore, she's a good ball handler. Yeah. That was impressive. And, again, they'll be back in action facing Rushi Monday night. Like I said, you can purchase that link here. Should be a great sectional or district semifinal matchup. Her right to play in the district championship, which is not this week, but next week, Saturday, 
at Troy High School. So that'll do it for us here tonight. We'd like to thank our crew for Austin Amber back at the station. For Craig Lauf, I'm Brandon Coburn. For the final time here from Sydney High School, the Covington Buccaneers defeat the Troy Christian Eagles by the final 56-33. to You've been watching a presentation of girls high school basketball on NK Toko Sports.